Hey up. Well, it's a beautiful day, almost 100 degrees outside, so why not make it even hotter by melting some copper? So, I got me uh, 10 pounds of scrap copper. This thing was thick, uh, so I've got some going in there now. I should have probably put that big bar in first, but oh, well, I'm known for doing dumb shit. Um, so, I've got that heating up. I made my internal core and I'm setting it off in CO2 with my little thing here. I mixed it 10 to 1, uh, silica sand and this stuff here, sodium silicate. Uh, made it wet, packed it in, hit it with CO2 to set it off. I've got my mold ready, um, I've got my tapered sprue and my filler or whatever you call this, fill, yeah, I, I don't know the name for shit. Anyway, I'm about to pack the, the mold and I'll have the camera on so you can kind of see what I do, but I'm not one to be watching, ready to learn anything from. Um, I pick up bits and pieces from different uh, guys online, but the old foundry guys, uh, he's got some really good tips. Um, anyway, I'm gonna make my mold up set that up and then get ready with the burn I've got this on low right now not even 10 pounds or one bar I'm just letting the copper heat up it's time to heat up and once I start getting it hot I'll uh, I'll pop it up you can see that it's uh, starting to get hot um, I'm gonna throw the gun on it let's see what temperature it is Okay, almost 1200 degrees, uh, so it's getting up there. It'll be ready to put some more in real soon. Anyway, I'm gonna get going.
just use your hand, squeeze the thing to get some air down there. You should really be using compressed air. made it up again and I'm still using this vacuum cleaner attachment as a whole. It's way too thick and it, it just hard to get in there. I've since got a piece of uh, chrome pipe for under a sink. So I'm wearing silver pants, um, it's 2000 degrees, copper takes a long time to cool, and I don't want that stuff on my legs, so that's why I'm wearing that. The second um, cast iron ingot mold still had the paint on and it burnt off and that's what the flare up is later on. Now this tool I'm using to get the crucible out is one I designed. I just don't like this step where you pull a crucible out, sit it down, and then have another attachment. I want to do it all in one. I didn't place the crucible very well, so it was a little difficult getting it out, but it still works well.
Yep. Yeah. Wow. So all done. This frosty tea. I'm very impressed with. You've got to use those instead of anything else. Um, I had that uh, copper melted before I finished doing my mold. I added more to it, so I ended up having 10 pounds. Um, so this is what I've got. Uh, I used a tapered sp sprue, uh, eight millimeters at the bottom, 13 at the top. I made a bowl for it going over, uh, came down, so the bottom had this, the top picked it up and went into here, went into here, and then I had a, oh, I forgot, I think this is a, uh, I forgot the name of this. So this is going to be my header to put pressure back down when this contracts. It's going to pull from here. Um, it actually looks pretty good. I had some problems with the part. Uh, I think my sand was a little bit too dry. So I had some opening here. I was kind of rushed because the copper took too... It, it melted too quick. I didn't have time to build this properly and take my time. So I was kind of rushed. The inner core worked out well. I've got to tap that out. Um, but actually... Comparing to my first one. Okay, so comparing this to my first one, I've got all sorts of dings in it. Uh, these two holes, I had vents going up. So what I assume was when the fluid came in, it came up, it cooled and then fell into there because I could pull these out afterwards. Um, not a very good finish. This is kind of original. I didn't clean it up much. That I cleaned up a lot. But yeah, it's got some pitting, but that's just the sand. I used 128 mesh, green sand, but it looks way better. I mean, I know some people are going to say it looks like crap, but I'm actually, the way this turned out, I'm actually very pleased. Anyway, uh, Wow, I'm sweating. It's 102 degrees today, and I did this foundry work, so I'm hot. Anyway, uh, I'm getting better. I know I'm not perfect, and I've got a lot to go, so this is kind of a video of what not to do, but um, I'm learning in my process, and that's what it's all about, is making mistakes, learning from them, figuring it out, and de uh, developing new ways. I also think my boxes aren't big enough, uh, but uh, I need to get a crucible, new crucible. That was a graphite type, and my other one is a salamander, and I like the salamander better. So I'm gonna get some more of those. Um, I'm not gonna be doing too much copper, but when I get into bells, I wanna do a bell. Um, I'm gonna still need to have crucible that can handle that heat, and then I'll add tin later. Anyway, uh, thank you for watching. Um, my second copper casting um, and I'm happy uh, thank you all have a good day